hi guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is promoted sandra in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how to create a monetized youtube channel which is also known as youtube account so the first thing you are going to be needing to create a youtube channel is an email so if you don't have an email don't worry in this video i'm going to be guiding you step by step on how to create email account there are three things you are going to be learning in this video the first one is how to create an email account the second one is how to create a youtube channel so you need an email for you to create a youtube channel then the last one is going to be how to verify your youtube account so these are the three things i'm going to be teaching you in this video so go ahead and watch from the start to the end so that you will not miss any important information the first thing you are going to be needing to create your email account is your gmail app gmail app so if you don't have gmail app on your phone then go to google play store and download it for me i already have gmail app on my phone so i'll just go ahead and open the gmail app like this i'm going to be creating a new gmail account for the purpose of this video so once you open your gmail this is how it's going to look like right so you are going to click on google so once you click on google you are going to say create account so you are going to click on create account so once you click on create account it's going to ask you if it's for personal use or for work or business so you are going to see for my personal use for work or my business so you can either pick for personal use or for work or business so i'm just going to click for personal use so you can click on anyone and use so I'll click you're going to see first name last name so the last name is optional so i'm going to click on uh, my first name i've already created email account using my name before so i'm going to be which name am i going to be using now i'm going to use promoted sewing promoted sewing sandra i can decide to put promoted sewing then on this last name i will add sandra to it so you can use your own name or use any name of your choice then once you are done typing in your name then go ahead and click on next it's going to tell you to fill basic information enter your birthday and gender so you are going to enter your birth month birthday then the year you will type it there so I'll just go ahead and type the year then you are going to see gender click on gender so if you're a male you click on male if you're a female you click on female so for me i'm a female a shimmy <laughs> so i'll click on female so once you click on it you click on next once you click on next it's going to say choose your gmail address pick a gmail address or create your own they generated an email for me using my name so the first one is promoted sewing sandra the second one is sandra promoted sewing then if i was not okay with the first one or the second one i can click on the last option that says create your own gmail address so i'm going to be picking the first one which is promoted sewing sandra so i'll click on next so once i click on next it's going to say create a strong password create a strong password with a mix of letters numbers and symbol so i'm going to type in my password so once i'm done typing it i'll click on next so once you click on next you're going to see review your account info you can use this email address to sign in later so i'm going to click on next so once you click on next you're going to see google privacy and terms so just scroll down and click on i agree so we click on i agree so once you click on i agree that is it for your email you have successfully created an email account so to create a youtube channel the first thing i said you are going to be doing is to create an email account or to have an email account so now that you finally created your email the next thing you're going to be doing is to download youtube app on your phone that is if you don't have it before so if you have it before that is fine so um once you are done downloading it on your phone in case you don't have it before then you will click on it once you click on it it's going to open okay so once it's open like this you are going to be seeing your timeline filled with different videos uh, suggested videos and all that if you check the down of your phone you are going to see you 
you click on you this part here once you click on you for me i already have a youtube channel this is my youtube channel promoted sandra so i'm going to be adding another account once you create email it's certainly going to appear on your youtube then you don't need to log in your email or youtube again you're certainly going to see it there i'm going to switch the account so i'll click on switch accounts i'll just go ahead and switch accounts to the new email account i just created so this is it this is the email i just created promoted swing sandra so i'll click on promoted swing sandra so after switching this is what i'm seeing try searching to get started start watching video to help us build a feed of videos you will like so you are the one that we search so go ahead and search for or more Kai sandra which is the name of this particular channel you're watching this video from so just search for or more Kai sandra o m o or more Kai sandra once you search for more Kai sandra you're going to see it there so click on it so once you click on it it's certainly going to show you my platform you are going to see my platform like this that is or you can just click on any video you can just click on any video as if you want to watch so once you are done searching for a mock sandra then you can go ahead and remove it once you are done with that you will click on this you where they wrote you this part here then once you click on it you will click on your name your own name so once you click on your own name like like this just click on the screen so once you click on it so you are going to see something like how you will appear so the first thing you're going to be doing is to add a picture to it so you will click on photo and add photo so i'm going to be adding my beginners online class photo like this just go ahead and add your photo then you're going to see save as profile picture so you click on it to save as profile picture then you're going to see name so this is the name section they said name promoted sewing sandra because that was the name i used in registering my email account so you can go ahead and edit it and use the name you want to use on youtube so i'll go ahead and click on edit i'll just remove the name uh, promoted sewing sandra so which name am i going to be using now i will just type in sewing sandra at this point go ahead and use the name you want to use on youtube and before you use any name make sure you do deep research about the name check if anyone is already using that name and if they already using the name then you can go ahead and choose a name that is going to work for you if somebody already chose the name you want to use and the name is not popular yet on youtube you can still go ahead and use it but for me i would prefer you use a brand name that everybody will know you for and you're the only one bearing that name so if it's going to be for you to use your um your real name your father name or your, your name together like my name is omokai sandra right so this youtube channel name is omokai sandra my brand name is promoted sandra that is the name i'm using on my second youtube channel promoted sandra let me change this to sandra of africa so sandra of africa that will go ahead and save it so once you are done adding the name then you are going to see handle so this is how your name is going to appear on youtube if you check that you're going to see handle sandra of africa so whatever name you use as your name that is what youtube is going to generate for you as your username so my username now is sandra of africa so I'll go ahead and create channel you click on create channel once you click on create channel that is it you have successfully created a youtube channel whenever you want to edit just click on your name at the top and click on this uh, part that they say this thing that look like a pencil click on it to edit your name so at this point once you are done adding your name create your channel once you click on it again you are going to see where they will tell you to add banner so this is the space for banner they say take a photo or choose from your photos so you click on the body like this for you to add banner i'm going to be making a separate video on how to create a youtube banner so that banner is very very important that is something that is going to make your page look more beautiful it's just like when you build a house the way you want people to see it is the way you decorate it right if you search for promoted sandra or omokai sandra this is how my wall look like can you see it like if you check the top you are going to see a banner that carries my name promoted sandra you are going to see what i do finance skincare social media and growth vlog beneath it you're also going to see my profile picture so that is what i mean by banner so that is how to create a youtube channel 
So that is step number two. Step number one is to have an email account or create an email account. Then number two is to create a YouTube channel. Then the last one you're going to be doing is to verify your YouTube account. How to verify your YouTube account. So to verify your YouTube account, you are going to, you have successfully created a YouTube account. So you, you need to verify it. So for you to verify your YouTube account, you are going to be needing your browser. So you can make use of any browser of your choice. I will click on my browser like this. Once I click on it, I will click on the search bar. Then I'll go ahead and type YouTube Studio. Go ahead and type YouTube Studio and click on search. So once you click on search, it's going to open like this. You're going to see YouTube Studio. You're going to see login. Click on login. So once you click on login, you're going, it's going to open like this. You're going to see get the app. Then below it, you're going to see continue to studio so go ahead and click on continue to studio please do not click get the app go ahead and click on continue to studio so once you click on it it's going to open once it opens this is how it's going to look like as you can see i'm already signed in onto my youtube studio before that is why you can see my analytics and also see my profile picture so for you, maybe uh, do the process of trying to uh, log in. You might be um, told to sign in your email, your YouTube email. So go ahead and sign in your YouTube email. But if it did not tell you to sign in, it just open up like this. So you're not seeing your profile picture, just like the way my own is showing. Then all you just need to do to sign in is to click on this part here. So once you click on it, it's going to take you to uh, sign in. Then go ahead and sign in. So for me, I'm already signed in. That is why um, it's telling me to either switch account or log out. So for you, you will need to sign in. So once you see your platform like this, all you just need to do is to check down at your left-hand side. You are, if you check down at your left-hand side, let me zoom it so that you guys can see it. You are going to see this settings button at the down here. So you are going to click on the settings button. You are going to see it. So I'll just go ahead and click on it. So once you click on it, you are going to see channel. Click on channel. So once you click on channel, you are going to see basic info, advanced settings. You are also going to see future eligibility. So click on that future eligibility. If you click on future eligibility, you are going to see, they said, you can manage your access to more features here. You can manage your access to more features here. Intermediate and advanced features required additional verification, which help us keep the YouTube community safe for everyone. They say read more. So once you say something like this, you are going to see one standard feature. Under the standard feature, you are going to see upload videos, create playlists, and add collaborators and new videos to playlists. So go ahead and enable it. Then you're also going to see number two, which is the intermediate features. So these intermediate features will enable you to upload videos over 15 minutes, custom thumbnails, and live streaming. So go ahead and enable it. Then once you are done with that, go ahead and also click on the number three, which is the advanced feature. Go ahead and also enable it. This advanced feature will enable you to increase daily videos upload and live streaming and eligibility to apply for monetization so go ahead and enable the three of them during the process of enabling them youtube is going to uh, request for your means of identification your phone number face verification so during the process of enabling these things you are going to be make sure you are ready and make sure you are well kept like your hair is neat, your face is neat because they are going to take to do face scan. Is it face scan they call it? Like they are going to tell you to do face video. Like they are going to tell you to put your phone on your face to do live uh, verification. So I did that. So um, I've already enabled it. There's no way I can show you for now. They are also going to request for your phone number. They are going to send you code to verify your phone number. So be ready for that. And also, they are going to ask for your means of identification. If you have a voter's card, you can go ahead and use your voter's card. If you have N9, go ahead and use NIN. That is if you live in Nigeria. But if you don't live in Nigeria, go ahead and use any means of identification. It could be driver license, uh, residence permit, whatever thing they showed you. Then go ahead and pick the one you know you have available and use it to verify your account. 
if there's anything you don't understand go to the comment section and ask okay so if you have any question go to the comment section and ask on my next video i'm going to be sharing with you how to create a youtube banner and also i'm going to be sharing with you the settings you need to turn on so that you can start going viral so that you can start getting views likes and comments on your videos so if you know this video was really helpful go ahead and comment on this video like this video because this really helped my algorithm a lot this will make youtube to push my video to more people to watch you can also go ahead and save it so that next time when you are looking for it you can easily find it and you can also copy the link and share on your whatsapp facebook just share with your friends share with them let them come and watch and learn as well don't forget to also subscribe to this channel turn on post notifications so that anytime i upload a new video you will be the first to be notified i hope this video was really really helpful so see you on my next video bye